Hey everyone, today we are driving around an area called Pennsylvania's Game Lands. It's a whole bunch of dirt roads that you're allowed to drive down. Except this one says no motorized vehicles. There's a whole bunch of these oil, or maybe they're natural gas wells, I'm not exactly sure. I think it's oil because there's gigantic holding tanks everywhere. You see up this road, there's a lot of oil wells. There's one there. Way up the road, there's another one. Yeah, we've been passing probably dozens of them. Only the maybe 10 mile walk in. You see they all got a power line going to them. This one's attached to this pole which broke off at the ground. Then they're strapped up to trees. And it's definitely not put on those trees by code at all. It's weird. I saw a few of them that were put on with just... It looked like ropes. Yeah, this thing has definitely been running recently. Taking a look at the belt. They've been keeping it greased recently. But I have yet to see one on my entire trip this week into Pennsylvania running. I wonder why that is. In the colder seasons of the year, the colder months, is the oil too thick to pump? I'm not sure. Because I know in the summertime they're all going. This would be an extremely scary road if someone was to come. There's a gigantic drop. And looking at this tree, I don't think anyone else has been down here. Unless they did the same thing and it just drops right back. Boom. Yeah, it just dropped right back, so anyone else that recently came down here probably did the same. But I don't see any, I could say, recent tracks. And this is slippery mud, so I gotta watch it. There's a bunch more sticks. Crunch. Yeah, nobody else has been down here. Oh my gosh, this is scary. How am I gonna get out of here? Very carefully, I'm gonna have to do a three-point turn with this gigantic hill. I'm gonna make a nine-point turn or something. This is scary, that giant drop. Do I have a signal out here? At least I have a good signal if I got stuck. Super, super scary. Got it. That was that that was a little nerving right there. That hill's very steep. Yeah, and that road is completely impassable. And if you saw up here what I just did on the time lapse, I had to run over something here and it was I was very close to the edge. Yeah, see this right here? I ran over the end of this log, which I thought was gonna break, but no, it did not. Was it nearly as scary that time? Because I was near the edge before. And look at the 
this tree here got stuck. Pennsylvania must have had a big storm over the winter time. I noticed a lot of uprooted trees around this area before I even came down this road. There's a ton of uprooted oak trees right here. Had to stop and look at those. And a bunch of them further down the hill. I really like driving around Pennsylvania's forests. They are very healthy looking. I haven't come across any dead patches that look like they're infested with bugs yet. So supposedly this area, I looked it up, they have the same pests as I do at home that are killing my trees, but here I guess they're not as widespread or they're just not as favorable of trees, so they're not spreading where it's devastating. Because around here, I, I was driving through some areas earlier of white pine and other trees. It's so dark underneath them, they are very healthy. I know all my pine trees on my property, they have not produced pine cones in a couple years. And I think it's because they're very stressed with the bugs. Right here is one of their gigantic holding tanks. And they have a retention pond down below it for some reason. Alright, we're going to try going down this road now. It says on the gate, foot travel, closed to motor vehicle use. But the gate's open, so I don't think that applies this time of year. And I see other tire tracks. That road I didn't go up. I saw a couple of oil wells up there. At least this road does have a good edge. Well, occasionally. If someone else was to come, it wouldn't be the end of the world. Yeah, you see right here? These power lines attach all the trees. Yeah, that one is literally attached with a rope. And there was one I'm going to have to go by on the way back since I couldn't go through where you saw all the trees. There was one that was very uncomfortably low in the road. None of these are up to code. I'm surprised the truck that comes out here to empty these tanks can even make it. See, they got a bunch more holding tanks up there. There's a oil well to my right. And what is this? Is that a camper? I don't know what that is, but we're going to look at that on the way back. There's another one. This road is not traveled very often, it looks like. Yeah. All right, there is a tree down up there in the road and something right in front of me I'd rather not run over and get stuck on or get it stuck where I'm gonna drag it. All right, right behind me looks like a good spot. I can just back up and turn around. At least it was very convenient where the tree was in the road, a place that I can immediately turn around. So I didn't get far. It's only a minute back to that, whatever it is. All right, I'm parked in the road. I just shut my car off so it's absolutely silent so I can hear anyone that might be coming. Look at this, it looks like they just painted it, but whoever was painting it couldn't reach any higher. Those are freshly painted. They got some kind of gauge up there. Is that to tell you how full they are? whole area sounds like footsteps and I think I hear an owl or something I'm I'm very used to a different type of forest here all the trees are none of them are evergreen so there's lots of leaves and you can hear things very easily in a forest like this you can't tell how big something moving is either but what is this 
Is this a very, very old truck? It looks like it's sitting on a platform of an old oil well. And we're also going to walk up to one of these oil wells in a minute because one of them's making noise. But it doesn't look like it's moving. Got all that shattered glass. Look inside the truck. Pretty rotted out floor. Got a table in here. This is part of a pipe wrench. I don't know, but see that hole, how it's cut? Maybe there's a wood stove pipe in here coming out at one time. Like this is somebody's old workshop. Got some pipe joints, a 45 barn swallow nest in here. Got some lights on the ceiling. And what are these rubber things? Got a Raymond noodle cup. Looks like a bunch of welding rods in the corner. This thing is very cool. I also thought it was interesting how close this tree grew next to it. Oh, this thing has some serious hooks here for recovery. This is what I was talking about earlier. You see, this this is a little retention pond. Not even. I don't even think it is. But I saw one earlier when I mentioned it. It actually had plumbing and pipes leaving it. So it could actually act as one. Yeah, this thing's making noise. Like, it's struggling, trying to work. Make a noise like it's going to burst. Look at all that nastiness right there. Nasty oil sludge all over that pipe. I don't know what this thing's doing. All right, everyone. We actually just found a blockage out here. Didn't notice it on the way out, but I noticed it on the way back. See the water coming out of this culvert pipe? It looks really old. Who knows, the bottom of that pipe may have holes in it, but the bottom is completely filled in with rocks. So it doesn't really matter at the moment. I noticed this pool of water here, and I drove by it, and about 100 feet down the road, I was like, ah, I have to do it or it's going to bother me. So I just backed all the way up, got off the side of the road in case someone does come. Even though every way out from that way is a dead end, I don't think anyone's going to come up here. I've been in here for hours. I just saw one person walking earlier with a shotgun. What season is it that somebody be out here hunting? All right, so there's a culvert pipe here somewhere. And I just stirred up some mud, and you see it being attracted right here. I'm going to bet that's where it is. That's where I assumed earlier, too. Yeah, we got it's there. Somewhere.
first off, the whole road collapsed into it. I see where it is, but the amount of rock, and I'm willing to bet the ground is still frozen. That's why it's so hard. Oh my gosh, we actually found it. I feel current. The ground is frozen though, which is making this challenging. We definitely got it flowing more than it was so far. Feeling excavator damage. Well, this pool here is draining. Culvert is nearly not long enough. I wonder if they resurfaced the top of the road, but the pipe was too short for it. Well, that's all we can do today with the frozen ground, but it is operating more than when we found it. Let's go see what it's doing across the road before we go. Well, I think it's flowing more than it was. That coffee light color will stop in just a few minutes. I see another well out there. I just walked up to this tree here to bang off my rake because it was had some mud on it still. And I went up to it and noticed See these holes about the size of dimes? This tree has quite a few of them. That might be the Asian longhorn beetle. This forest might be in trouble soon, despite it looking so good at the moment. This is the power line I was telling you about. See how low that is? It's gotta be less than 10 feet. Code is 13 feet, at least. Now this road has all the power lines overhead marked with caution tape, but they're not nearly as low as that one earlier. This section of road has all the oil wells like right on it. Still none of them running, and I've driven by at least a hundred of them. All right, now I think I know what those retention ponds earlier were about. They seem to be right below the big holding tanks. I think it's a second, they're using it as a secondary tank to somehow collect it, maybe? Because that one right there was dry and it was right below the tanks. Maybe there's a liner underneath them. Somehow, it doesn't make sense to me, but it doesn't look nearly big enough to hold it. There's also on that road, I saw a lot of abandoned sites where they just leave the oil well there along with the tank and they're just rusting away. 